Big news in college basketball, which, you know, for being completely honest with ourselves, if this happens, uh, you know, two months from now, I don't think I care whatsoever, but we are. It is it is a bit of a content drought out there mm-hmm. um, in terms of college basketball news. So this qualifies as news because uh, I think the reason I care about it is less about what actually happened and more about the reminder that Kansas is facing five level one violations. Yeah, because like I I did forget about that. I completely forgot. So like who did it? I saw the news that Bill Self wasn't recruiting anymore, and no part of me was like, oh damn, that's gonna really throw Kansas off on the recruiting cycle. Uh oh, are they gonna miss out on some guys now? Are the defending national champions at a time when recruiting five stars, like it's debatable whether you should even waste your time trying to recruit people yeah. at this point. Just get just hit up the transfer market. No, hit up the best players. Hit up the best players mid game. Yeah. At halftime. As College you're basketball has gone back in time to say, you know what we like? Production. Yeah. I don't like potential. Right. The NBA is a game of potential. So Bill Self taking again a two month vacation where he's just like going to the beach and and getting his tan on and just yes. throwing back. I see that gut in my head right now. Sunglasses on, throwing back some beers. He's having a good time. That's all this man is doing. Like, that doesn't register to me as as important news, as, like, news that's going to send ripples throughout college basketball because John Shire's hitting the recruiting trail in a way that Bill Self is not. Mm -hmm. Uh, The only reason I cared about this is because I was like, Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot. Kansas is. Yeah, in case you missed it. Uh, <laughs> remember when we did that podcast where the FBI had a flow chart and they five were Five like, years ago. Yeah, it was five yeah, years ago. Yeah, five years ago, they said, we know your game plan. And right. basically, it's a wrap. We're going to get the bad guys in college basketball, <laughs> a.k.a. the bad guys. B-A-G guys. In Literally college five basketball. years ago, 2017 was when that happened. And now we still have Kansas still outstanding. Arizona. Still outstanding. Different head coach. So we, mm-hmm. we they have moved and changed <laughs> total regimes. Right. LSU, still waiting. Different head coach. Different head coach, different regime. Yep. But Bill Self is the one man standing that also has to answer for things that happened back in 2017. So that that is the other part of this that's fascinating about Kansas is that they kind of just held steady. You know, what? when this came out, everyone's like, well, Kansas, Adidas, we've seen what happened to Rick Pitino. Mm-hmm. The it's the hammer's got to come over here, and Bill Self said, "Snoop Dogg, come That's here." That's the yeah, Snoop Dogg, come here, to- come dance, <laughs> and get this out of get this out of the way. Snoop Dogg, remember the video uh, Bill Self made going through the record store with chains on, and yes, just, like, thumbing through, yes, final records. I mean, it was the ultimate like, do something, yeah, I dare you. And then and then he won a national championship, <laughs> yes, with one of the worst teams he's had at Kansas. <laughs> and, That's why he was laughing and the nobody, whole time. And weirdly, as I think about it, I. Th- Winning the national title actually helps. Like, like, and the and the one and the ones I know, I know that, that we've taken away the Louisville banner, but that was more just like for the memes. I think I, I really do think yeah. the NCAA looked at the whole situation at Louisville and was like, it would be pretty fucking funny if we took away their their title. Right? Well, they looked and at the everyone, tattoo. Yeah, they, yeah, saw, they the saw the tattoo on and, Patino's back, and, and they were like, like, "This is gonna be good." They were like, "This is great content." Yes, this, this, yeah, this, we can resist this, this content trap. <laughs> the classic Darren Rovell. <laughs> I feel bad for Louisville fans, but this is tremendous content. <laughs> That's why Louisville had their banner taken away. That's it. That's the only yeah. reason. Um, I I don't necessarily think re- sequels are never as fun. I don't think I don't think Kansas is going to have that happen. Um, so I I actually think that Kansas winning the title, uh, on the one hand, it gives them more to lose. Like now, if if to be clear, this is not going to happen. I'm just doing a, a thought exercise here. If there's a world where the NCAA makes Kansas take down this year's banner. Um, on the one hand, it's like, well, shit, we have more to lose now. It would upset Kansas fans more than if they say, say they had to like put an asterisk next to their, to like, I don't know, a, 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 an elite eight of parents or something, you know? So there's more to lose. But on the other hand, I don't think they're going to do that because they won the title. Like they're, they're, they're not going to, to do a sequel tape. They're not going to do a, a repeat of what they've already done because it's not good. Con- like that's not funny content. No, it's funny content is Bill Self saying like, I'm going to tap my chest. That's my bad. We did. We, you know what? Billy Preston, Sylvia De Sosa, uh, we were talking to Zion Williams that we did, uh, we did do that. I'm sorry. So that was us. Gonna, that was us. But I'm gonna go bad. on vacation. Yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll call it even, right? That's funny. That's funny to me. And I think the NCAA should uh, just drop the whole deal. I think I think Kansas should be fine now. And the good thing for Kansas is that they're kind of in the middle of a transition period with the NCAA enforcement, right? They're trying to figure out what NCAA enforcement looks like. Right. And during this trial and error period of figuring out what this independent review process looks like, I think that Kansas and these guys, it's been so long that you're almost like, ah, oh, whatever. Just go ahead. Just keep yeah. going. Just do what you're doing. 
no big deal. And Kansas has never admitted any sort of fault or guilt. And in fact, when the they opposite. sent they, when they sent their letter back, they were like, "All of this is false, and it's littered with lies, and we will fight it <laughs> to the death." And and that is, I think, if you're the NCAA, now you have to present and prosecute Kansas and bring up all. That's these too facts. much effort. It's too, like, much that's money, too much money. It's too much, much effort. Like, and they would that. rather just make money off Kansas winning basketball games. They're at also, the end of the day, the enforcement branch of the NCAA is also going on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> They're at they, the same they resort. They're checking in at the anymore. same time with Bill Self, and they're just like, <laughs> they might not exist anymore. And there's probably a guy named Jeff D'Angelo that's like putting in his resume and is like, I'll take over that branch. I can handle that. That's what I do. Um, but otherwise, if you're Kansas, this is more just bad PR. And at the end of the day, what does the NCAA investigation really do? It just creates a cloud over your program that hurts some of your right. recruiting. That is the biggest, harshest thing that really happens with these NCAA. Investigations. But they won a national championship, so it's like who cares? Who cares? Yeah, you know. And MJ Rice, five stars coming in coming from in. Henderson, North Carolina. Think, he didn't care. I really do think in twenty twenty, you're, you're absolutely right that that has been the case forever. I think now there's no such thing as an NCAA cloud. I really yeah. don't. I really don't think. That's what I mean. They're in the transition they period exist. of the enforcement yeah. of the NCAA, which the it's the, over. The new enforcement is that there's no enforcement. There's no enforcement. Welcome to the Wild Wild. And everybody West. knows that. And I keep <laughs> saying this, and, and you think I'm doing this to like get under your skin, maybe. Uh I swear I'm not. North Carolina taught everybody that. Yeah. North Carolina really did lay out the We did the of first like, time, but we did the yeah, second time. The second time, time the we first like, time we opened up all the books and then we realized, oh, these guys are do not inept. cooperate. And yeah. and the rule rule number one of the NCAA is prove it. Yes. I put it on you to prove, and the NCAA says, well, that would be a lot of work for us. That is the lesson we learned over and over and over again. We just learned it with Oklahoma State. Mm-hmm. Uh, they cooperated. They got hit for it. Don't don't cooperate. Never yeah. cooperate. Never talk to a cop. Deny, deny, deny. deny. deny, deny, deny. <laughs> as soon as you admit any inkling of guilt, it yeah. opens up the floodgates. Yes, yes. So Bill Self in Kansas has said from the start, this is all false. This is all a lie. They do something like this to say, we'll give you a little bit of, hey, we're complying. And they have the ultimate cop out, which is the NCAA has told them, if you talk about it publicly, <clears throat> then we have more violations that we're going to throw your way. Mm-hmm. So the kids can always go, sorry, can't talk about it. Even though it's been five years. And I think I think the other thing North Carolina taught me, at least, uh, and when I when when some program out there has the balls to uh, step up and, and give me a job, and um, I'm, I'm running – the ship like i should be tate i i learned this lesson from north carolina uh which is drag it out as long as possible because on the one hand you said it it, it hurts recruiting i think what it actually helps is that there's the you can then make the case that the punishment should not be handed down to these kids that had nothing to do with it you yeah, know what i mean exactly. so like because because even kansas winning the national title this year like if you if i if, if i came on this show today and was like very seriously arguing that that Kansas's national championship in 2022 should be in jeopardy. Every Kansas fan on earth would would say that's unfair to the kids that had nothing to do with this. Ochai Baji had nothing to do with mm-hmm. Billy Preston and 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 Silvio De Sosa and you know why should Christian Brown suffer for? And it's a great point. And then I go home and I look in the mirror and I'm like, why would I take this national championship away from these kids? It's about the kids, Tate. It's about the student athletes. Mm-hmm. Why why would I do that? So if if you don't if you don't kick the can down the road, then maybe the punishment comes when you still have guys on the roster who are like involved in that era of your program. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so kick the can down the road. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen to any of this. It's all funny. And, and nothing's going to happen and to Zion. Bill, this is why Bill's – nothing's going to happen. You know what I mean? And I think that's the other – the funniest part about this situation is that when you look into – like there were a few people when this report came up, they're like – Kurt Townsend. Oh, that's the guy that was talking Zion about Zion. Guy. The Zion, Zion guy. guy. <laughs> you know, he's back. And it's like, yes, this stupid case that has started five years ago. It's the same case, and we get little crumbs of details along the way. But at the end of the day, it's obvious what happened here. We all know the game. But the same people that were going to call it out and say it's wrong, like a Jay Billis, for example, he's wearing an Under Armour shirt because he's also part of the game. It's a large, it's a large, large brand play for everybody. Adidas is playing the same game as Nike, playing the same game as Under Armour. They played the same game as Converse that was playing it back in the day. I mean, we all know what's happening. Really here. We understand what's happening at the pool, but everyone's running around like, I, what, what's going on? It's here? really like the exact same shit that goes on in the political sphere of just like, we got him now. Hey, 
Hey there, thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.